Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'd like to thank you all for being here today and for choosing me to be the recipient of this award for being the world's best procrastinator. <laughs> now, I have a lot of people to thank, but I'll try to keep this pretty short. First, I'd like to thank my parents. They've been with me since the beginning, really. Um, they supported me in almost every single thing that I've done, from my obsession with books and reading when I was little, to my obsession with hockey and all the other sports that I've played in my life. Now I'm sure you're all wondering, like, wait, his parents helped him procrastinate? And sadly, no. My parents are actually very strict parents, always pushing me to study a lot and be a stellar student, which I didn't like at all, so despite them, I became lazy. Very, very, very lazy. Like, you would not believe how lazy I am. <laughs> they didn't like this, but I continued it because I did not like being home in front of them and know, like, letting them know that they'd be right. So I would stay up as late as I could and do my homework as late as I could, but just get it in right on time, just as I can. Next, I would like to thank the companies Bethesda, Bionics, and Bungie, and for those of you who haven't heard, those are the companies that make amazing video games year after year. <laughs> Just so I can procrastinate my homework and instead play video games all the time. I've heard thoroughly believe that if it wasn't for these companies and their video games, I would not be up here today. I would probably be in the audience watching someone else take this award that's rightfully mine. Hmm. Video games have been like my friends since I was little. I've always been able to play them. Since my parents, we went to a really small school, so I was able to hang out with other. So all I was doing was being forced to stay in, like by my parents and just playing video games all the time. Next, I would like to thank a company very near and dear to my heart, Spotify. <laughs> now I listen to music a lot. Like I have my headphones in all the time in case you not know, notice. But Spotify does this thing where you make it impossibly hard to create playlists. Like it takes hours. Which at first is annoying, but then you realize, wait, I can create a playlist instead of doing my homework, and then it all works out. <laughs> I've spent hours on days, like this week in finals, I've made two playlists already, it's taking me three hours, and I enjoy it. I mean, why study anything with some music? Right? <laughs> Next, I'd like to thank my friends. They've been a driving force in my procrastination since I was, you know, the beginning of high school. They really pushed me to come out with them a lot more and not study and stay at my house like try hard and lose it. <laughs> <laughs> my friends, um, especially my junior and senior year of high school, convinced me to come out a lot and try all these new food places across the Bay Area. At first I was like a little skeptical because like junior and senior year, but then I was like, wait, it's good food, so obviously I want to defend it, but it's staying unsteady. And finally, I would like to thank Sleep is my addiction. I can't get over it. I sleep all the time. In high school, I used to sleep on the way to school, on the way back from school, and during school as well. <laughs> you name it, I slept during it. Like, just literally everything. Class, lunch, break. Oh my God, I slept through everything. But, I don't know, sleep is just so easy. I mean, who doesn't like sleep? That's my question. Overall, I really want to thank my friends, my family, sleep, video games, and music for getting me to this point in my life today. Procrastination, really, it's not easy. Wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's the easiest thing in the world, and I happen to be the best at it, but this mindset, not many people agree with me, but what we have here, hates the fact that I procrastinate, but my mindset can be explained by a very, very simple quote given by a wise man by the name of Seth Rogen, who says, I am lazy, but for some reason, I am so paranoid that I end up working hard. Thank you.